Hello Wargamers, it's me Callum from Tabletop Banter and in today's video I'm going to discuss more on the Vince Venturella's Budget of Sigma 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's right, I am back with the new microphone just here and um, hopefully a slightly brighter setup and, and a more crisp setup. Um, at the moment my computer's having a bit of a funny so I've had to drop the resolution a tiny bit hopefully that hasn't made too much of a difference um, but it just means that it'll sync up nicely audio and video so to the main point of today's video I am going to talk a little bit more about my uh, <laughs> budget of Sigma 2 electric boogaloo entry so it's a, if you don't know what it is it's a six month project run by Vince Venturella and the crux of it is you build up an army, it's got to be converted, so there has to be some kit bashing, you know, green stuffing, all that kind of stuff. There'll be some criteria for probably some like competitions, if you know what I mean, like best painted and stuff like that, I believe. Um, of course, that's not something I'm going to necessarily target. I'm going to paint to the best of my ability, but I think for my target, it's going to be slightly more story based, um, as you'll see in a little bit. But what I wanted to do, talk about first was the uh, my process, my actual plan um, of what I'm going to buy, what I'm going to do with it. Now, you, obviously, if you've seen the prologue, you've seen my rough idea. Well, now I am committing. I'm going out this weekend. I'm going to buy a box of models to start off the October part of the challenge, um, and I'll do an unboxing. I'll probably do a built, converted, painted. So you'll get a couple of updates a month on the uh, budget of Sigma stuff. Um, and that will continue until I believe it's March or first of April, end of March, something like that. And uh, well, what am I doing? Well, you're, if you've watched the previous video in this mini series, uh, you'll know that it, it is part of um, the Death Alliance I'm building up, and they're going to be invading the realm of fire, obviously populated by corn. Um, now, the process that I'm going through for buying things is going to be. Quite simple. So in the first month, you have to build a unit, or build, paint, convert a unit. Uh, I am going to do 10 zombies, because uh, it's a nice place to start. I can work on my green stuffing nice and slowly, because I've never done it before in my life, and I want to have like fire coming off of their stuff. So that's my plan. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But that's, that's the gist of my army. It's going to be a Realm of Fire-based death army. Going to cork the bases, have some lava on there, some black ashen ground. Um, and that's my first task, 10 zombies. Then in the second month, I'm buying the start collecting um, skeleton horde box set and a character. And I have written down Tomb Banshee. So I'm going to be doing a Tomb Banshee and five uh, black knights. Uh, I may try and green stuff them to be blood knights, but I think I'll probably just go black knights and then have fire coming off them and stuff. Um, because in the second month, it's unit and a character. So in the third month, it is unit and a war machine and or monster. Now, obviously, I'm playing uh, death and I'm using the updated war scrolls where there are no real war machines apart from potentially the mortis engine. Although I didn't look if that was one. Um, I didn't really fancy that. So I'm doing two behemoths instead. And in the th in the third month, it's going to be a unit of 10 skeletons. So keep that nice and simple. Get through some skeletons and neferata. So I'm going to be having Nefer neferata uh, on the table hopefully she'll look nice and pretty and there'll be some fire coming off of her somewhere and i'll do all the basing nicely um and then in the fourth month it's back to unit character so in the fourth month i am buying another start collecting horde box and another character which is going to be the necromancer so then i'll do five hex wraiths who i'm going to paint the entire thing like fire so you know you can do like a ghost effect i'm going to try and paint their whole model look like it's on fire so they are effectively all ghost riders <laughs> on horses, you know, medieval ghost riders. Um, and then obviously a necromancer is going to have some fire come off of his hand, something like that. There's going to be plenty of green stuffing. Like I said, it, I've never done it before. I'm going to watch a bunch of tutorials <laughs> and hopefully that'll help me through it. Then coming up to February, the fifth month, uh, I'm going to be doing 10 skeletons again and then Manfred. So I'm going to have 10 skeletons and Manfred. So you can kind of see the shape of the army. It's actually pretty cheap. I'm buying it all brand new. It's going to come to less than £100, hopefully, if I can f use the right kind of websites and stuff. Plus a bit of postage and all the green stuff and that. But the actual models will be about £100. And over six months, that's not so bad. And finally, 
the last unit I'll be doing and probably some touch up work to other stuff um, just to clean it all up get everything nice and sorted will be a unit of 10 zombies I thought I'd really push the boat out for that last month and do possibly the hardest thing I can do a unit of 10 zombies um, yep so the other thing I'm doing alongside this is a short story and I'm going to read you an extract uh, of what I have so far it's early stages it's only gonna be a short story so it's not gonna be that long but I want it to go with my army so I always love that kind of stuff and for anyone else who has watched previous videos I have written a novella of sorts uh, called Crash Landing on Kakarius. It's a 40k one about my homebrew Space Marine chapter, but I have written one and uh, we are going to go and transition nicely into an extract from the book. What can be done to prepare to fight an enemy that you cannot see? When they descend from hiding or reveal themselves, only reflexes can save you. But what if they can't die? Those who stood alive after such an atrocious act of bloodshed grinned their wry smiles of victory, ones with little to no meaning, for until they had died they would never have truly given themselves to the blood god. Nevertheless, those of the fewer ranks, the simpler minds, and such thoughts were amongst glory and carnage. The remnant of the warband howled expletives in individual victory. This unfortunately was something they had reduced their reflexes. A mist rose from the ground around the feet of the bloodied cornate warriors, a green and unfamiliar mist, it was cold, unlike the heat of the realm of fire. It sat one meter above the ground and as it became more thick, the warriors became frenzied, calling to their gods for an explanation. So I hope that little extract has wet the appetite a little bit. Uh, you can obviously see, see the sides I'm pulling here. Um, that, that was a, a, just a short extract. I'm hoping to write a bit more. I mean, I've already written a whole page before that. Uh, I could maybe page and a half, but that was um, just a little extract that I wanted to take a little snippet and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy reading that at the end of the six months um, where it'll all be finished I'm gonna try and see if I can sort some art for it as well who knows uh, but it's called from the depths of hell so it's basically you can see that it's the death rising up and finding some cornate warriors Woo! so that's basically the end of this video I wanted to talk about what I'm actually gonna buy what I'm gonna have in my army so two of the Mortarks not, is it Mortarks yeah, I think it is. Two of the Mortarks, Manfred and Neferata, 20 skeletons, five hex wraiths, five black knights, and then two units of 10 zombies, which are obviously gonna shamble together. Uh, ideally, I would have had three units of 10 zombies, because that takes up all the battle line I'll ever need, and they can all become one unit and actually become useful. Who knows? I just thought it'd be cute to do them in groups of 10. So thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do hope this new video format with the enhanced uh, sound bit has helped. Um, if you've got any advice for that, I know there might be some issues to begin with, but I want to uh, put it out there, get the content back up from me. I'm kind of excited about it all again now. And uh, the important thing is I'm going to be taking steps in the right direction. So thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, have fun.